Now we take an example so that we can understand the concept of the ancillary statistic. Let x1, x2 up to xn be the random sample from the distribution whose probability density function is that is f of x theta that is e raised to power minus x minus theta and x is greater than 0 and the ranges of the theta that is from minus infinity to plus infinity. Show that the sample variance for the above distribution is ancillary statistic. So, we have to show that the sample variance actually is a ancillary statistic for the uh, this probability density function. So, how we proceed that? We know that the formula of the sample variance is that is S square sum xi minus x bar square over n minus 1. So, the above distribution actually is a location distribution and the location parameter is theta. So, we make the transformation let zi that is xi minus theta and this implies that actually xi that is equal to zi plus theta and if we take the mean of these we will find that zi bar that is equal to xi bar minus theta and this also implies that xi bar that is equal to zi bar plus theta. Now the distribution of z is that is f of z that is equal to e raised to power minus z into the Jacobian which is 1 in this case and this is actually e raised to power minus z and you can see that it is some sort of exponential distribution with parameter 1. Now, the distribution of z does not depend on the theta. Now, we use the sample formula that is sum x i minus x bar square over n minus 1 and that is actually equal to sum that is that is uh, z i plus theta and x bar in place of x bar we can write it as minus z bar minus theta whole square over n minus 1. So, theta will cancel out and we have that is sum z i minus z bar square over n minus 1 and you can see that it does not contain theta. It does not contain theta. So, S square is an ancillary statistic ancillary on theta.